Governor, is the economy overshadowing all the issues now? I think it is. Is that all the people, when you greet people, is that what they want to hear about? That's what they want to talk about. Economic issues. But in perhaps one of the strangest moments to date in this campaign, Clinton then strode to the microphone to make a statement not about the economy, but about controversies most thought were finally in the past. I said, call a guy at the ROTC department at the university, and he'll tell you that I was a troubled young man, probably from his point of view, who opposed the Vietnam War, but I did not do anything wrong. And at times, Clinton even sounded like a man ready to throw in the towel. And I have to admit, I have loved this. But why would Governor Clinton bring up all the old stories once again right after he just tried to put them in the past? Senator Kerry offered this explanation. I think one of the worst attributes of politicians is when they begin to feel sorry for themselves and indulge themselves. I sometimes do it myself. But you know, I'm in this campaign because I'm terrified and worried about America. I'm offering myself in service to the country, not the other way around. Meanwhile, Paul Sanga seemed to enjoy his newfound frontrunner status, constantly fielding questions about his success in the polls. There are nine months between now and November, and if you allow yourself to be on an emotional roller coaster, you're not going to survive. But, Senator, is it easier or tougher to, to get your message out when, when you have this kind of a situation? Well, I found that I was much more articulate when there was nobody I was talking to. And, uh, <laughs> But now on the candidate talks, everyone is listening. Jim Parisi, WMUR's News 9.